ओम सहना सह नो गुणक्त सह वीर कर्वा वह तेजस्वीनावदितमस्तु मदिषा वह ओ शाति 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 Dear students, today we are going to discuss mainly upon the subtrochanteric fracture femur. Now, as you can see in this particular diagram, the subtrochanteric area has been shown by the orange color. Subtrochanteric region is defined as an area between the lesser trochanter and a point 5 cm distal to it. The subtrochanteric fracture femur. is a difficult fracture due to the problems like mal union delayed union non union shortening angulation deformities rotational mal alignment etc the two factors responsible for the slow union are one the fracture through the cortical bone now if you look it in our previous discussion about the it fractures the it fractures invariably unites because they are occurring at the cancellous bone but the subtrochanteric fractures the fracture occurs at the cortical bone and hence it invariably goes for a slow union and second important factor for slow union is the large biomechanical stress at the fracture site results in the implant failure often as you can see in this particular x-ray the mechanism of injury it is usually due to a direct trauma due to the road traffic accident or a fall and is common in the young individuals it can be broadly considered under two headings a stable fracture and an unstable fracture now you see this particular x-ray it is a stable fracture now a stable fracture is one where uh, are intact or possible to reestablish the bone to bone contact of the medial and posterior femoral cortex anatomically and unstable fractures are those where the posterior medial cortex apposition is not obtainable now this is based the Fielding has given a classification of the subtrochanteric fractures initially. Now, this particular classification is based on a distance at or below the lesser trochanter. So, the type one as per is the fracture at the level of lesser trochanter that is type one. Type two fracture one inch below the lesser trochanter, and type three fracture two inches below the lesser trochanter. However, with the changing fracture patterns because of the high speed injuries this uh, classification is of no use anymore and hence the new classification sensimers classification has been proposed now this is based on the number of major fragments and the location and the shape of the fracture line the type 1 fractures are the undisplaced fracture type 2 are the two part fracture now as you can see here type 2 has been further subdivided into three categories minimal displacement and little more displacement with lesser trochanter in the proximal fragment and the in type 2c the lesser trochanter remaining with the distal fragment then type 3 three part fractures where the lesser trochanter is a third fragment or type 3b butterfly fragment is the third fragment in type 3 uh, three part fracture uh, the type 4 is the four part fracture now all the four fragments the uh, there is a butterfly fragment the proximal and distal fragment and the lesser trochanter fragment and type 5 the subtrochanter 
trochanteric comminuted fracture with the intertrochanteric extension. So, whenever there is an intertrochanteric extension in the subtrochanteric fracture, we call it as a type 5 fracture. Russell Taylor has classified uh, the subtrochanteric fractures in his own way. This is based on the involvement of the subtrochanteric fracture with the pyriformis fossa. So, type 1, the subtrochanteric fracture does not extend into the pyriformis fossa and there type 1A, it could be a, the lesser trochanter not fracture, type 1B, lesser trochanter fracture. Type 2, the fracture extends proximally into the greater trochanter and extends into the pyriformis fossa. Clinically, the patient presents with the pain, swelling, shortening, complete external rotation of the uh, deformity of the lower limb as you can see in this particular diagram or picture and the other usual features of the fracture. Radiographs. Radiographs helps to study the level and pattern of the fracture and thereby plan the treatment. The treatment, conservative treatment methods are advocated if the patient is young or in severely comminuted fracture, a modified cast brace with a pelvic band is used. The surgical treatment, this is the preferred method of treatment in adults and open reduction internal fixation is chosen for these fractures, which can be made stable by closed or open reduction. The choice of implants for the internal fixation of subtrochanteric fractures, the choice is made from the above shown uh, implants, the spiral blade plate for the pathological fracture or the impending pathological fracture, subtrochanteric fractures is often used. Proximal femoral nail, PFN, is another implant of choice. DHS, as shown in the first column, is not ideally suited. However, sometimes a side plate, uh, barrel plate with a longer plate size can be used. The dynamic condylar plate, they are shown in the second uh, diagram, and the dynamic condylar screws, they are useful op options. The fracture pattern and the choice of implants. The low transverse fractures and short oblique fractures with one inch intact cortex, approximately. The intermodulary nailing or interlocking nailing can be done. In the fractures above this level, without a trochanteric extension, then locking nail or a GK nail can be used as shown in these particular pictures. In fractures above this level with the trochanteric extension, now the DHS has to be used. Major stability is obtained by either the compression of the interfragmentary screws as shown in this particular X-ray or medial displacement or a vulcus reduction. Fixed nail plate is not recommended. Bone graft is used. Now, the recent trend is in the fixation of the pertrochantic and the subtrochantic fractures is with the gamma nail, stable osteosynthesis of the subtrochantic and pertrochantic fracture femur is obtained independently of the fracture classification. The gamma nail is shown in the second picture. However, now people are moving towards the PFN and its other variants. Patients can be mobilized immediately with this method. However, care must be taken to avoid the technical errors. The Russell Taylor has devised a reconstruction nail, recon nail, and it has greatly improved the fixation methods of the subtrochanteric fractures. Now this has a proximal and distal interlocking fix, uh, screw fixation and is a closed nailing technique. So if we have to decide the fixation methods in nutshell then for the subtrochanteric fracture, this is based on the Russell Taylor classification. Type 1A with the intact pyriformis fossa and the laser trochanter standard interlocking intramedullary nail can be used. For type B, the, with the pyriformis fossa intact, laser trochanter fractured, then you need to use the recon intramedullary nail. Type 2A, pyriformis fossa fracture, 
but laser trochanter is intact you can still use a record nail or hip screw type 2b both the piriformis fossa and laser trochanter fracture then same is in the type 2a but with the bone graft along with the hip screws coming to the complications of subtrochantic fractures the first very important complication is malunion and this is possibly uh, this is a possibility with a conservative management. The second complication is short name. Third, non-union due to soft tissue interposition and is relatively rare because it is occurring still at the, uh, the area, cortical area. So the non-union is seen but it is relatively rare. The second is the osteoarthritis of the hip. That is another complication. And finally, the contralateral hip and knee pain due to the limp and altered weight bearing mechanism. So, these are all the complications of subtrochantic fracture femur. Now, before we end, I want to talk to you about one more important topic, and that is happy key to lose weight. Dear students, one of the commonest problem we are facing in our routine clinical practice is of obesity. Eat less and exercise more formula for treating obesity has been proved to be the failed formula. Of late, I have been working on the latest, most scientific, evidence-based concept of weight loss, happy key. You may find few videos on this topic as well on my YouTube channel. The Obesity among the medical student is at its peak nowadays. Due to obesity, not only they are bullied, but most of them also lose their self-confidence, resulting in deteriorating performance in academics. For all of them, this online video course, of course it's a paid course, will be most valuable. If interested, you may visit my Facebook page, The Happy Key. And you can also visit my website www.drsudhir.com D-O-C-T-O-R-S-U-D-H-I-R.com For details of this course, I recommend you all to watch my above mentioned YouTube video completely. You can enroll for the course by paying the fees. You may forward this particular video to others also. The YouTube link is given below. Please just go through the link. My mission is to help more than 10 lakh persons to lose weight and get lifetime freedom from their obesity without dieting and exercises using this happy key technique. Let us all come together to create a healthy and fit India. Please like my channel subscribe it now and do recommend it to all your colleagues from all other medical colleges please help me to help medical students all over the country your recommendation matters a lot for me for your thank you for your subscription if not visited yet please do visit my youtube channel like it share it and subscribe it. Thank you.